Lucas here again with English Racing and the uh, OG Evo. Um, kind of my second video here talking a little bit more about uh, my throttle strategies. And then, you know, honestly, sometimes tuning around a problem is actually almost more fun for me than running the car, which I know sounds kind of weird. So anyway, at this event, you know, we'd... We've had different clutches in the car, but we kind of got a hook up on some XCD carbon clutches, which is a triple disc um, or carbon disc, but they're on steel floaters. So it's really not very optimal for a carbon clutch. Um, we ran that in the Evo 10 for quite a few years when we were sponsored by them. Um, and I'd had some issues where that clutch, if we got it too hot, it actually would slip more, which for a carbon clutch is kind of backwards of how they're supposed to work but anyway um that's the clutch we kind of had so early on i um, started blowing the clutch loose once we got her close to 80 psi um we had like two other clutches with us but i knew that installing those not like the clutch was worn out or anything and it can take a lot of heat and abuse so it's not like it was broken it just flat couldn't handle the torque um, of the 80 pounds when it got into fourth gear um, so at that point, I just knew that, um, you know, I just needed to maybe a, t a tune around this problem and I was going to have to just uh, live with what I had. Um, so on the first pass here, where I finally got the boost pressure, you can see here at 80 pounds, um, you can see one of the issues on this car too is um, because it boost creeps so bad, the wastegates are actually open. I'm not actually running that much wastegate duty, so it creates a hell of a boost drop on this shift. So, um, so anyway, after this pass, the issue, other issue here was also my gear calculation. There's a tolerance number, and if that number's bigger, I mean, it won't fall into default. It'll either just still stay in the same gear, or it might switch to another gear without going default. So, at this point, you can see I went into fourth. Um, it locked into fourth gear on the estimate like it should. And right here on the clutch blew loose, um, it says it went into third gear, which obviously wasn't true. And then back to fourth gear as that clutch is still uh, being annihilated. So at this point, I um, decided to, I lowered the tolerance number so it would be more sensitive to fall into what they call the default. I also then went a lot of little changes. This is the, the pass after this was the um, this was a seven nine, and then the pass after this was um, the personal best of a seven six. So I did a couple little things like on the um, so this is here is the this tolerance ratio. I think it was like a one point two or three. I lowered it to that point one. This makes it more sensitive, and to just I actually wanted to get lost and not knowing what gear it is sooner. So some of my strategies will work. Um, and then I also did a boost. Let's see if I, how fast I, okay. Boost speed limit. So right when the clutch blew loose, actually in this range, I kind of got, this table had never been populated. But I populated this table to kind of knock the boost down right when that <clears throat> torque area was, when, when it would want the boost creep there. Um, and then, so I did that. There was a couple other changes I did. I don't need to go into all of that. So then on the next pass, um, see how good we are. We can overlay this. So we're going to overlay that. And then we'll triple graph it. Okay. And I'm going to shove this all over here so it's not. If I'm going to make this. It won't let me move at all because I've kind of shortened these up so they I can do this a little faster. So you can see the white line was the personal best. Um, and right there it slid the clutch um, but fell into default right away. So my what I wanted to happen happened. So then once it fell into default at, you know, we were at... Uh, 84 went to 10,000 rpm there then i had that table i pulled up earlier when i did this other video throttle 
gear. And so once it fell into default, then I say, hey, you know, over 9,700, we're going to go 50% throttle. So it just instantly knocks the throttle back um, once it falls out of knowing what gear it's in. And then at that point, once it knew, it, it locks the clutch up right away. You can see it's that white line there. So right here. So the clutch blows loose, falls into the default, yards the throttle, clutch hooks up. And then we finish the pass like it should. So if we go to the video here, uh, let's see, pull this up. If you listen really close in fourth gear, you can hear it take off. And then what we just looked at in the log uh, did its job. And we'll do that one more time. All right, enough of that. All right, so you kind of heard it blow loose. You saw the shift lights come on for a second there in fourth gear. And so um, let's get rid of the clutch blow loose pass. Boom, we'll go to only. So right here you can just see the RPM snaps up. Gear estimate falls to default. That throttle instantly gets yarded from that table we were just looking at. Clutch hooks up and off we go. Um, of course, I got that brake switch issue figured out. So this car, you know, actually, you know, it's not quite as cool as Miles' car, but in that pass, you know, we only did do a, uh, you know, right there, it's a 60, you know, 60, 80 mile an hour front wheel drive burnout, but it's better than 120. And then, of course, it's only for a split second and um, in first gear. I also had cranked the ACD pressure now to 165. Uh, but you can see here the front right tire um, keeps popping loose. So this is where we're com I'm compelled to hopefully run a little more of the ACD pressure, what's going to get the rear end of the car working harder. We're also going to put a little bit more weight on that right tire and look at the quarter balance on that tire. Um, I also started targeting more boost. So you can see in this one on my record pass, you know, we're 60 pounds on the top of first, but you can look at this throttle position. The throttle position is 50, even down to 45. So this is kind of how I'm main keeping control of the powers with the throttle. Um, shift into second. Um, and we have a pretty good little loss and boost there. Um, so the throttle comes back around and then we're pretty much the 56, 60% throttle through second. And then as soon as I get into third, then we get full throttle the rest of the way. And then of course we see the throttle chop and my, this boost curve, I'm still not happy, but once I get this wastegate duty where we're actually running 60-70% wastegate duty continuously, which will probably be close to 90 pounds of boost, um, it should start flattening out this boost curve a lot better. So anyway, this data gives me a lot of hope for this car to go faster um, and uh, hopefully to do it scientifically without just throwing the kitchen sink at it every pass. And let's go back. Let's watch some more videos here. Let's see. So let's see here. Back to my favorites. So this is the one pass I had with this the fake 60 to 130 that was kind of fun. <laughs> and then this is the pass with the clutch blowing loose. And then this is the pass with the clutch blowing loose, but we're getting it hooked up at the end. And too bad I can't cut a light. All right, and then 
we can take a quick look at the time slips here, I guess, if we're going to be spending this time. Let's see here, of course. I did. All right. So this here is our 7624. That is the best 60 foot I've done at a 1293. Best eighth mile I've ever done. I'm praying that the ACD pressure is the key to that 60 foot and that isn't just a magical 60 foot and that'll be able to be reproduced um, i'd like to think with the clutch hooking up in full power you know we should have this thing trapping deep into the 190s of course that's going to be fourth gear and onward so hard to say if it's going to add that much et to the car um, so we'll find out in this pass where it blew the clutch loose completely in fourth so i'm pretty happy though the car drove back on the trailer from the event um and uh it's a good deal